Hey YouTube, it's Sharice here and I'm about to go out real quick but I want to show you guys um, like a fast, easy makeup look, no foundation. So I'm going to start with the concealer in my skin tone. This is from LA Girl Pro. It's their HD concealer and this is in the shade Expresso. Expresso. And I'm kind of just kneading it a little bit. Shake it up a little bit. And I'm just going to apply this to my dark spots. It's not a perfect, perfect match, but it's good enough. Basically, you're just going to apply this to any of your dark marks. But a skin tone concealer. It doesn't have to be this one. This just happens to be the closest to my skin tone that I have right now. And anywhere that you have any darkness that you want to cover. And I think, um, that's pretty much it for me. I have a lot of moles on my face. Okay. I'm just checking to make sure that I got all my dark spots covered. There's a little bit showing through right there. Okay. So that's about it for that. Now I'm going to take a damp beauty blender. I'm just going to tap this in a little bit, blend it in to my skin as much as possible. You'll see how it just helps to even out my skin tone a little bit and to cover the larger dark marks. It's not going to give you 100% full, full, full coverage. I don't want to be too heavy or cakey. But it's going to help to even out the skin. I still see a little bit peeking through right here in between my eyes. Everywhere else I feel okay with. So I'm just going to add a little bit more right in between. I'm also going to add a little bit to the sides of my nose. A little bit more concealer. And I'm going to dab it in with the Beauty Blender. You can see how my skin already looks so much better with just a tiny bit of concealer. How it looks tremendously better. And next, you just want a skin tone ish powder. As you guys can see, my face is lighter than my body due to band camp, and I wear SPF 100 on my face, and I also like protect my face with a hat. So it is not tan at all compared to my body. So the powder I'm going to use is going to be Keep It Drugstore. I'm going to use the CoverGirl Queen Lasting Matte Pressed Powder in the shade Medium Deep Q425. And I'm going to use a nice flat top brush to apply this. This is the e.l.f. powder brush. So I'm just going to pick up this powder on the brush which I've hit pan on. And you're just going to apply that all over the face. Now I'm using pressing motion so that I don't disturb any of the concealer that I've already put down. This will also help to get rid of any shine. Which I'm an oily person and I'm very shiny all the time. Another great powder is the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible. I might put some of that on as well after this. This is just going to help to mattify the skin and add just a little bit more coverage. I'm 
I see some spots over there that I didn't quite cover well enough. But adding some powder to them helps a little bit. Hopefully y'all can see how natural this is looking. All right, I'm gonna go on with a little bit of the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible in 800 Cocoa. This is the darkest shade, same brush. Just to add a little bit more coverage. And it's just going to give the skin a really nice finish. And after this, I already have um, my Rose Salve lip balm on my lips. All I'm going to do is apply a tiny bit of mascara and that's it for this look. I'm not going to do my brows or anything. Y'all can see how that added a little bit more coverage. And you can see my birthmark is still shining through. So this is going to give a really natural look. And my face is pretty, pretty matte, which I like. And I'm just using this to brush through my brows because I'm not going to fill them in. I'm just going to leave them as is. So like I said, to complete this look, I'm going to put on a little bit of brown black mascara so it's not as obvious. And this is the L'Oreal Miss Manga in the shade, is it on here? Yeah, brown black, so it's not going to be super duper dark. Just add a little bit of something something to my lashes without making them too dramatic. If you're in a super duper rush, this is the look for you. Or if you just have really, really good skin, this is the perfect look for you. Because you may not even have to use concealer. You can probably just do a light layer of powder like I did. And skip the concealer part and still get a really nice, flawless looking look. putting some on my bottom lashes as well. Oops, I got some on my face mascara. All right, so that completes the look. Got a little bit of mascara on my face. I'm just gonna kind of dab that off there we go so this completes my super duper natural look i hope you guys like it no foundation no eyebrows literally just chapstick concealer a little bit of powder natural brows and a little bit of brown black mascara so that it looks like my eyelashes are naturally this long i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and i'll see you in the next one bye, -bye YouTube.